sound, waves bouncing and reverberating in all directions, in differing ways, in varying circumstances. This quality of sound makes it quite difficult to capture it correctly during a shoot. The effort to record sound correctly requires technique and correct equipment. One pays dearly for disregarding sound during a shoot. Logically speaking, what is the argument for taking sound lightly? After all, this is an audiovisual medium. Sound gives life to a picture by adding interest and authenticity. It prepares us for an image. Dramatizes a visual. Enables a dramatic cut. It makes us interpret an image differently. Helps make a transition of time. gives smoothness of continuity in a sequence. Ears behave like our eyes. They select sounds in relation to what the eyes are looking at. At the same time, a strong sound outside that image area can be distracting. It will make us look away at the source of that sound. It is dangerous to believe badly recorded sound can be rectified later or that anyone can record sound. This is a specialized field requiring skills, technique and a long experience of a good ear. In the depiction of reality, sound is an intrinsic part of that reality. Ambient sounds provide the oral feel of the location. Here, the sound of the axe is the principal sound. But the oral feel has other ambient sounds. Often, a clear sound outside an image distracts us. The eye is bound to seek the source of that sound. That source may be a part of the story. Sometimes, a strong extraneous sound becomes a distracting part of the track and cannot be used in the edited sequence. The sound recordist plays an important role in the quality of footage for a documentary. It is said that the sound recordist needs to be as alert as the director and cameraman. The mic must pick up a clearly distinguishable sound of all actions near and far. But neither the mic nor the recordist can be visible in the camera frame. During a shoot, the camera and lighting dominate the shooting situation. 
but the sound recordist is probably the most stressed person. Understanding what is happening on location, moving swiftly, noiselessly, without disturbing the environment or the cameraman. It's not impossible. There are mics, rules and precautions that can give excellent location sound results. Let us experience some of the basic mics and their effects. It does well to remember that badly recorded sound is rarely a problem of the location or a fault of the equipment. The first requirement for a professional recording is a pair of good headphones that fully covers the ears and shuts out all external sounds. The headphone is the primary tool to correctly hear the quality of sound and spot disturbing elements in any recording. Then comes the microphones, which usually fall into three basic categories. Different mics pick up sounds in different ways. Mics are a tool. We cannot expect them to make our creative choices. But when used creatively and in a technically correct manner, they do give us creative options to work with. We therefore need to understand mics and use them correctly for appropriate results. A directional mic is self-explanatory. It picks up picture-related sounds from the direction it is pointed towards. It screens or is less sensitive to other ambient sounds. An unstable boom rod that holds the directional mic changes the perspective of the sound in relation to the image being filmed. This is bound to disturb the viewer because a vibrant element of the image is weakened. The directional mic does not bring sound closer. Rather, it picks up sound from a particular direction clearly and distinctly. The omnidirectional mic picks up sounds from all around but has a compressed or smaller area of coverage. It is ideal for interviewing people on the streets and for group conversations. But the mic needs to be kept close to whoever is speaking so that the ambient sounds are not dominant. It's really great to travel around the city. I've been moving around the marketplaces and really can't decide what to buy. Everything is so beautiful, you know, you really get confused choosing. Delhi is also a historical city, uh, so what places have you visited, historical monument, which has been your favourite? Well, naturally the Red Fort, I mean, it's amazing. I have to go back there again and probably also see the sound and light show in the evening. What about uh, the Purana Killer? Uh, actually, I haven't seen... The lavalier mic, commonly known as the lapel mic, has the character of an omnidirectional mic and is indispensable for interview situations. It gets its name lapel mic because it is pinned to the lapel of a coat or anything within the area of six to eight inches of the chin. Let us run through two demos to and sense the, the entity of sound and how mics respond to them. A directional mic pointing at the main speaker. All over the country get clean money through their high ticket rates. The axis of the mic moves away. Into making specific movies. Unlike the typical Bollywood formula of a song and dance routine. Listen as it comes back again. Which are typically male dominated. You're looking at these movies being made on contemporary youth issues, social issues. But suppose this was not an occasion to record one main speaker, but a group discussion. See how suitable the omnidirectional mic is. Fantastic. What did you think of it? Oh, I still think that. Uh, music choice with people is still limited and they don't have enough exposure. And do you agree with them? I sort of agree because I don't go there to listen to rock, I go there to socialize. We sensed how the directional mic clearly picked the voice of the main speaker when it was directed straight at him. Or of fight sequences. Dominated by heroes. When the mic moved, the voice dipped. You're looking at contemporary youth issues being discussed. The Omni was stationed at one place, but there wasn't much difference in the voice levels. Now, let's see how the mics perform in a typical outdoor situation. Usually, one could be interviewing someone on a street. 
trees or buildings on one side, a road with traffic on the other. It is always worthwhile to accommodate the sound recordist. A busy backdrop may be a visual requirement. Pick a camera position that gives the required frame, yet allows the recordist to position the mic correctly. Being a metro in one of the developing countries today, Delhi has its own problems. Noise pollution is one of them. The constant honking by the drivers in every nook and corner of the city today is driving everybody crazy. What are the kinds of sound recording that should or need to be covered on location? Essentially, there are two situations, along with some typical variables. Every image carries a principle and an ambient sound with it. Both give an aura to the image. Both should be recorded with due attention and consideration. The surrounding ambient sound comprises the sounds of people and traffic and so on. The greetings and conversation between two people is the principal sound. We'll run these shots with the wrong mic that did not distinguish between the principal and the surrounding sound and when recorded correctly with the clearly audible principal sound. In this example, clearly audible sound. Okay. To start off at least. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay. Anyway, so what are you doing these days? Are you just like, looking just around? I'm just actually looking for a job. Yeah. What are you doing these days? Are you just like, um, looking just around? Looking for a job. Same location. Disturbing ambient sound. Every composition has its backdrop and ambient sounds that give depth. The principal sound equals the central part of the image composition. Similarly, every situation has ambient sounds that give the complete oral feel of a location. It is important for the recordist to follow camera movements, especially pans and zooms, and capture the sense of sound perspective of far and near, or the sense of sound moving away or coming from the side. It serves well to record wild ambient sound and perspective sound during the shoot. Later, it offers many options to play with during editing. Long bits of sound also need to be recorded in every sequence. Ideally, it should be done with the shooting. Otherwise, the continuity of sound during editing is seriously impaired, giving jump cuts that are hardly conducive to comfortable viewing. View this example and their impact on the post-production scenario. A long bit of ambient sound has been recorded here. Adding this ambience to the principal sound gives an added oral texture to the edited scene. Another important technical point impacts editing later and it needs to be monitored on location. Pictures that have the mic showing up in the frame are unprofessional. Great care must be taken to ensure that the boom is always out of the edge of the frame. Never. What about Johnny Depp? A wonderful actor. He's simply amazing. He blows your mind away. He's so comic. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. As we know, recording on location often includes a variety of interior situations. 
Acoustics play an important role in the quality of interior recording, especially for interview situations. Essentially, there is a bright acoustic and a dead acoustic. Let the word bright not mislead us. <laughs> The reverberating quality of sound in bare rooms or huge halls can be hollow or clanky. This is a bright, unwanted acoustic unless required as an effect for emptiness or recalling the past. Areas with many sound-absorbing surfaces like curtains, upholstery, furniture have a dead acoustic. Dead acoustics are a prerequisite especially for interview situations. Ideally, the open-air situation has the best acoustic conditions even for interview recording. What needs attention is that there are no sharp sounds nearby and that wind noise can be controlled. You'll find that uh, every animal has got some kind of uh, maintenance of the ecosystem. The animals and plants and their interdependence is so important to maintain the, the whole ecosystem. Of the Interviews are an important element of most shoots. Even one word of an interview, not heard clearly, disorients the thought process and understanding of the viewer. An interview has no value if each and every word is not clearly audible. Setting up for an interview needs time and care. Pay attention to positioning the mic correctly. Obviously, it's worth the effort to check and recheck before starting the interview. Do a test recording. Is the voice clear? Should the level be adjusted? Ensure all unwanted ambience is cut off. Can you switch off the ACs, Sandeep? Can you just put the AC, please? the concept of VCDs or VHS. Uh, I would say, well, it's, it's a recent one, but it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, fantastic. And who is your favorite? Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. It's pretty recent and I, I have... Been Clear, really distinct with the statements movie. make uh, all the difference seen, you know, to the credibility of your story. Completely different. Yeah. Often, a film has sequences of speeches. It may not be possible to have as much time to set up the recording situation as for an interview, yet audibility is the primary concern. An important parameter needs to be kept in mind while recording speeches and music on location. Speeches and music need to be recorded in long bits without cuts. Notice how the camera is framing for options without stopping the recording. A continuous soundtrack is a great saviour during edits. At the time of editing, a lot of work is done on sound. But it is a fallacy to believe that badly recorded location sound can be retrieved or improved in the studio. For instance, if recorded levels are low, 
when they are lifted in post production all unwanted peripheral sound irritants get enhanced along with the principal sound nowadays non linear systems allow for easy and systematic sound work keep ambient sound effects interviews location music bits all on separate tracks later this makes crossing fading mixing sounds much easier and faster in post production an important sound job in post production is narration recording and the biggest and commonest mistake is leaving it for the very last with little time in hand before the deadline in fact the requirement is quite the reverse the process for a well recorded narration begins long before stepping into the sound studio with the narrator the narrative quality of the recording also depends on sharing the film with the narrator the mom yeah it's from the mother to the youngest, to the youngest daughter. daughter in some viewing the film together and sharing the nuances because you know this is that going over the film sequence by sequence discussing the points for emphasis and subtlety if possible give the narrator a day or more to go over the narration and get a feel for it before going in for a recording for older women born in the temple town of madurai the ambience and professional facilities of a sound studio greatly contribute to the quality of narration recording During the actual recording the choice of mic and its placement is critical for correct audio levels the soundproofing of the studio ensures there is no echo or extraneous ambient sound once recording begins watch out for pops overloading distortion listen if the narrator is trailing off at the end of sentences Avoid recording an entire narration at one go. Without breaking the recording process, do it in blocks. Ensure you get the right pauses, emphasis and subtleties you need for each segment. With the Nobel Prize of Carnatic Music in 1969. By this stage, much of the sound work for a film is done. What is left is mixing your tracks with the right levels for each. And as always, it is worth your while to have a professional sound person in at this stage of the film. This devotee in a Mathura temple has focused her fantasies on Krishna. Remember, every sound in a film together and separately is giving the tone and ambience for the story. that i have given myself up to you and what could be better than a soundman's good ear to bring that ambience to your film is transfixed in the mind of the religious hindu we hope you have enjoyed this session on how sound makes all the difference to your video watch out for other programs in the series